one for Jürgen and Fletcher. They used to walk, they used to swim, they used to fly with a toothy grin. Some ate plants, and some ate meat, and some walked around on just two feet. All the dinosaurs, biggest trees, dinosaurs, brains like peas, jaws and claws, and teeth and bone. The used to growl and groan and moan. Some had feathers, some had spales, spikes and clubs and whip like tails. They fought like dragons, the earth sure shook. The volcano sizzled and the lava cooked. All the dinosaurs, big as trees, dinosaurs, brains like peas, jaws and claws and teeth and bone. That used to growl and groan and moan. Tyrannosaurus Rex was a terrible king. Stegosaurus tail could really swing. Brachiosaurus liked to stomp. The Trachiodon would chew and jump for the dinosaurs. Big as trees, dinosaurs, brains like peas, jaws and claws and teeth and bone that used to growl and groan and moan. Without worries, cares, or fears. Then one day they hit the soil. Now they're just fossil, gas, and oil. Oh, the dinosaurs, big as trees, dinosaurs, brains like peas, jaws and claws, and teeth and bone. The trees growl and groan and moan. Last time, arr Another one for Fletcher and you. Well, a strange thing happened the other night. You won't believe it, but I swear it's true. Harry, the hairy ape, made his escape from the city zoo. And under cover of darkness, he made his way to the middle of the municipal park. And hid in the bushes, waited for somebody to come walking along by himself in the dark. So here comes somebody not suspecting nothing. I jump out of the bushes all of a sudden, beat on his chest, jump up and down, and he say, <laughs> which is eight top for boo, I bet you scared you, ha <laughs> ha. Well, he scared that polecat's about his eyes, bugged out, his hair turned white. He run off through the municipal park, screaming and hollering, digging up the lawn, tearing up the shrubbery, knocked down to keep off the grass sign, run through the herb gate fence, fell in a municipal swimming pool, and drowned himself. <laughs> well, Harry thought this was the funniest thing that he had ever seen. So he laughed, <laughs> went back in the bushes, got ready to do it again. The next guy that come along, was a nearsighted local DJ just bopping down the sidewalk on his way to work with a box of records under his arm that he was going to play. So he come, not suspecting nothing. I jump out of bushes all of a sudden, beat on his chest, jump up and down, and he say, <laughs> which is eight top for smile, you're on candid camera. Well, he's, that DJ was so nearsighted, he thought Harry was a rock and roll singer. So he gave him the old glad hand smile, slapped him on the back and said, Don't worry, baby, I'm going to play the record because you too cool, too cool, too cool. And he slipped by, bopped on off down the sidewalk. And four or five steps, he turned around, did a little boogaloo shingling. Well, this really shook Harry up. I mean, it blew his whole bit, you know, ruined his whole day. So he ran back to his cage, fast he could go, jumped up on his little swing, put both hands over his eyes and didn't look for three hours and 45 minutes. But that's not the end of the story. Here's what happened. Well, the GJ played Harry's record. What record? Shut up, the boys. He became a star. 
got him some tight bridges, got him a manager, went to promotion, took took combed his hair back and took up playing the guitar. And every Sunday afternoon you can go and see Harry at the zoo. And the girls will swing and he'll sit on his swing and he can sing his hit record for you. Ooh, 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 ooh.